So in the last video, when we took a look at the Porsche 962 short tail, I had mentioned that the only other Group C car that I had ever driven was the Mazda 787B. And I thought, you know what? I want to drive it again. <laughs> so we're sitting door ajar on the grid at Laguna Seca. It's going to be the same race format as last video, five laps. Starting from the back, 20 other cars. We're not in the iconic green and yellow livery, but it is still the iconic rotary beautifulness that is the 787B. Let's get in there. All right, the lights are building up. I still can't shift to first. I think this is a recurring problem, isn't it? Oh, I bogged a little bit. Beautiful wheel spin, as you do. Oh, we got touched a little bit. I'm gonna be really cautious here. Okay, that wasn't too cautious, I guess. Hello. The sound is amazing, dude. Mastico So we're kind of having the same problem as last video, where... We're driving such old-school, powerful beasts. And I still only have a formula room with no, sh no, no sequential shifter. My immersion is ruined. I gotta say, this car is... Okay, that works. Around the outside? Corkscrew? Sideways? <laughs> that didn't work. If you can't tell, you really, really need to be easy on your right foot. Or the car... will eat you. So again, throttle blipping... go so slow. Throttle blipping in this car is... or any car for, really is such a weird thing to get used to with paddle shifters at the same time. Break really early. Slightly lock up. I guess that wasn't really early, was it? For this car... So I'm, I'm not really going to ramble on about the history of this car, it's very infamous Le Mans victory, because I'm, I'm not much of a historian, I just like driving the cars, you know? <laughs> we, again, we, this car, it's, you need to be really precise when you drive it, and it's really hard to be precise. I feel like that sums up group C perfectly. On the inside this time. Yeah, we made that work. I'm gonna short shift a second. Save the wheel spin. Hope it sticks. It does. It almost didn't. Compromise line in here. The guy behind us is gonna get a better line. Come on! Oh, you gotta break so early. The thing about these things, man, they're so goddamn slippery in a straight line. If you look at her time at the bottom center, almost a 126.1, and that's in traffic. That's the times of some of some GT3 cars around the circuit. Granted, that's a really slow lap for GT3 cars, like really slow. Had to go down to first to get the turn in there. Uh, but it, it, it's a very different car to a GT3. Everything is done on the straight. There's some grip in the corners, but it, it's such a unique machine. Especially with the rotary strapped to the back. It would be an absolute treat to just hear this thing in person. drive it. I think he's still there. We're gonna turn it anyway. Oh, he backed out. 
we just made round the outside through the corkscrew, as we missed that apex, work in a group C car. I think everyone's locking up. Oh, I almost spun him. I, I, I literally have not thought about position this entire time, by the way. This thing is just so fun and engaging to drive. It doesn't matter. Oh, that was a terrible downshift. Go for break early here. Can we get the switch back done? No, we cannot. Yeah, it's getting your throat. <laughs> getting the power down is such a terrifying aspect of this car. Especially around Laguna Seca where elevation is so. a plenty. We're in the dirt. I'm already sweating. Do the gank. Oh, we missed a little bit. I'm probably missing a lot of shifts, but. I did not expect him to break that early. But as I was saying, I'm probably missing a lot of shift. Again, it's really difficult. I hope you can forgive my, uh... Sh <laughs> not short shifting, but shit shifting. <laughs> I don't know why I went to third there. As you can tell, right above the tire temps as well, I'm not using heel toe when I'm down shifting. I know it's a possibility in this car. Like it does, it doesn't mind it. But the way my rig is built, I uh, I kind of can't use it comfortably anyway. Just the high tide it is around my legs. We're in 11th, we're knocking on the door of some points. Let's see if we can get up into 10th. Top 10 would be nice. I was gonna say almost all the passing was done on the first lap, but you know, we got a, we got quite a few moves on some cars, especially in the uh, works route. Much better. You got to be smooth with this thing, but it also uh, you know it doesn't mind being a little little manhandled if you know what I mean. That was a little cheeky, but we'll stick with it. Top 10, fellas. Oh, bonk. Maybe not. A screw just fell out of my wheel. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come to the line. It's just going to be top 10. But last to 10th. I think that was better than the, the portion result. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we only got to like 12 in the Porsche. Well, there you have it. That's five laps and probably my favorite car of, of all time, if I'm being honest. We really do need more cars with a rotary engine because that sound, man, that sound is beautiful. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's a bit of a fun one. I, it's a bit of a treat for me because I get to drive my favorite car of all time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it while we go behind a, a barrier, I think, is what we're doing. There you go, you get the letter M-A and the top of a Z. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. Check out my Twitch in the link below. I would love to see you over there. And uh, have yourself a good one. I don't know what else to say.